Okay, so do you feel or think that jazz guitar is difficult? <laughs> yes, there is a lot to learn actually. We need to learn chords. Oh, 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 oh. Jazz licks. We also need to transcribe a lot. We need to behave and look like a jazz person. Hey, I want to jam. You know any jazz standards? We need to practice jazz for decades before we sound good. We will probably lose some friends because everyone doesn't like jazz. These are just some of the reasons why people never really learn or play jazz actually because there is so much. But I'm happy to tell you that I got you. In the end of this lesson you will be able to sound like a jazz guitar pro, just like this guy. <laughs> Not really, more like this. So today I will teach you the number one licks and chords you need to sound like a jazz guitar pro. Chord number one, the minor nine chord. Nice? Yes, of course. Now let's move it up to A minor nine as well. The same shape. Nice? Yes, of course. And these ones are really easy and sounds legendary if you ask me. Now let's add any of these essential jazz licks from Charlie Parker, Joe Pass and Pat Martino. One, two, three, four. Three, four. Hey, by the way, do you find this guitar lesson useful? Be sure to subscribe here to my YouTube channel and also give this video a like and give me a comment if you want, if you like this stuff. <laughs> I like this stuff, that's why I'm teaching it. And if you want the full tabs for this lesson, be sure to check out my Patreon. There you will get an instant access to 250 lessons with tabs, masterclasses, everything you need basically. Let's go to the next leak. One, two, three, four. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Three, four. These three licks sounds beautiful and amazing over minor chords. Now let's make an exercise of this, where we first play it over E minor and then A minor. Okay, now let's add two more chords you can add before and after the minor 9 chords. Alright, real quick, let's analyze this. So the first chord, E minor 9, we got the root, and then we got the minor 3rd, flat 7, and the 9. 
beautiful voicing if you ask me. The next one is a dominant chord to E minor. B7 sharp 5. Have you played this one before? This is one of my favorites. So we got the root, flat 7, major 3rd, and sharp 5. The sharp 5 will become the minor 3rd of E minor later, so that's why we want sharp 5. But now we do... Beautiful. Then we do the same thing of A minor 9, but there we got an E7 sharp 5, because that's the dominant for A minor 9. So the same note here, we got the root, minor 3rd, flat 7, 9, and then we play the E7 sharp 5, and there we play the root, flat 7, major 3rd, sharp 5. The same as before, basically. And then you can use the B7 sharp 5 back to E minor 9. Beautiful. Let's check out the next one. Alright my friend, let's analyze this one real quick so you understand what we're doing. So basically, E minor 9, this is home. We can play the dominant like we did in the last example, in the previous example, and then we can also use diminished chords, and those start a fret up, a note up from the dominant. So there we get, now E minor, we get C diminished, E flat diminished, G flat diminished, A diminished. All those works over A minor 9. And we have chosen, I've taken out two for you to choose here, to use here, that you can use around this shape here. And that is G flat diminished and E flat diminished. Right? So that's how it works. We could also have used them like, like C. have done that as well but I just wanted to do it easy for you to understand then we can do the same thing from the next minor 9 chord so that is A minor 9 right so the dominant for A minor 9 is E7 right so so a fret up from E7 we can do the diminished chords there that works over A minor so F diminished A flat diminished B B diminished D diminished a bunch of diminished chords, and you see here, it's basically really easy to take it out. Those diminished chords are just a minor third away from each other, so... Right? And those works really good, like, wherever you want, basically. Over the A, A minor 9 chord. So here in this example I used A minor 9, and then I used the B diminished, and then the... A flat diminished or the G sharp diminished. It doesn't matter really what you say, it depends if it's going up. So I would say maybe this one could have been called G sharp diminished and also the next one E flat diminished there. But yeah, that's basically it. So And then you can use the diminished back to target the minor 9 chord that you want to play. Awesome, so this is basically all you need to impress your non-jazz friends, or actually also your jazz friends. Alright, so now let's make a solo using the licks that I showed you before, moving them in different octaves and over E minor and A minor. And the backing track that I will be playing over will have the chords that I just showed you. And by the way, thank you so much for being here on my YouTube channel, that means so much for me. And please give me a little comment and show me some love, that really makes me happy when I read your comments and so on. And also, if you want to learn more about jazz guitar, be sure to join my Patreon. There you will get an instant access to the full tabs from this lesson and also a bunch of guitar etudes and examples and everything you need to improve your guitar playing. Now, let's do the solo. Mm -hmm. 